For today's video, I'm gonna do a haul of everything I got at the Goodwill outlet. So here's my receipt. I got 30 and a half pounds of textiles, which is clothing, shoes, purses, uh, for $1.49 a pound, and it came out to about $45.39. And then toys, I got a little under a pound, and those are 89 cents a pound, and so that came out to 75 cents. So let's dig into everything I got at the Goodwill bins today. If you're new to the channel, my name is Rachel and I am a part-time reseller on a multitude of platforms. So first clothing item is this is just Adidas sweatshirt, size medium, it's got a nice three line down the sleeve. Okay, next we have a Banana Republic. It's the untucked slim fit, size large. It's a nice button up. I looked at the tag on this one, it's from the fall uh, 2020 collection, so relatively recent. So here we have a South Carolina hat, camo. It needs to be washed a little bit, but it's in pretty good shape. So I got a lot of shoes for this haul, so uh, that's why it was so expensive, because it was very heavy. So these are a pair of knee-high uh, boots from Aldo. And these are like almost new condition. They're a, uh, they're not leather, they're suede. Let's see, the shoes I kind of just threw in here, so they might be all over the place. We got a pair of New Balance, uh, 573 all terrain sneakers. These are a women's nine and a half. A little bit of heel wear in this one now that I'm just feeling it, but it's not too bad. So I got these Converse because I know the tall Converse can do really well. Being that they're white, they are really stained. So I'm definitely going to have to try to soak them in like a water bleach solution and try to get them a little bit cleaner because this white color just stains really easily. But other than the just the marks on the canvas, like the shoes themselves are in actually really good shape. So here we have some Tiva sandals. Right as I was about to check out, they rolled out three new bins of shoes. So of course I didn't check out yet and I ran over to the shoes just to check out what they had. And these were one of the pairs. They look brand new, barely ever worn Tiva sandals. Once I get through with this big Ikea bag full of shoes, I will tell you guys the story as to why this video is titled about someone stealing my cart at the Goodwill outlet. So next we have this pair of All-Star Converse. Again, just bread and butter. Clean them up, they should be pretty quick sale. So these I found when I first got there. They're a pair of Red Wing boots, and if you know the brand Red Wing, they're very expensive, like work boots. So they're not in the greatest condition, as you can see, scuffing on the the toe and all around, you know, it's worn. The heel is a little bit worn in the back, but they have these BOA laces, which is like a tightening system. And these BOA laces, uh, I have them on my snowboard boots and they're like super expensive. So Red Wing boots are expensive as is. And then to have the BOA laces, and then they are also steel toed. These are men's. I'm gonna have to figure out the size because you can tell the size tag is pretty worn on these as well. So I'm gonna have to figure out from their size chart. And they do actually have brand new Dr. Scholl's orthotics in them as well. So we got a pair of silver fit flops. These are pretty, I find them a lot at the bins and I feel like a lot of people don't know about them so they don't pick them up. But they do pretty well for me. They're fairly light. They always go first class when shipping them out. So these and they don't seem to be missing, they just need to be cleaned up a little bit, a little bit of toe wear, but they don't seem to be missing any of the sequins. And they're US size 8, which is a great size for women's shoes. So these Jordans, I haven't looked up yet. I'll look them up and put comps on the screen. And you can see they are like yellowing around the outside, so I'm going to try and get the, them cleaned up and try to get them a little bit more white, less yellow. Uh, they're the Jordan Jumpman. These are a youth size 7, 
uh, made in 2016. So I'll have to look these up and see how good they are. These were in that new batch of bins that just rolled out. So I just grabbed them and decided to take a chance on them. And then lastly, in this bag is these Tiva shoes. They tied the laces backwards, but uh, they have a I that's like dirt, like dry dirt, not paint. So I think that'll come out with a quick wash. And they look like super new, barely, barely ever worn. So a solid shoe right there. So I just finished the bag of Ikea stuff. So the story, um, I got in there. It, I usually like to get to the Google bins on around 11. Like they open at 11, so I like to get there at 11 on Sundays. And I got there at 11, right as the doors opened, walked right in. It was like me and three other people. Like it was actually really empty for a Sunday morning. And then it got busier as it went on. So by like 11.30, uh, I've checked all the shoe bins and I moved on to the toy section. And you know, you know how it's tight in the bins where all they're stacked up. And I put my cart off to the side against a wall, which is what you know most people do because it's too tight to put your cart in with you when you're looking through the bins. And I'm going through the toy section and I look up where I put my cart and it is not there. And I was like, where the heck did my cart go? I know I put it over there. So I walked out of the toy section and started looking around and my cart was like all the way over by the clothes section and people, this person started putting other things in there. So I just like took the stuff that they put in my cart and just put it back into the bin and like they can figure it out. But yeah, they somebody stole my cart. It was like half full of like the shoes I found and it had, I found this, um, little Build-A-Bear, Wonder Woman Build-A-Bear in the toy section. I just thrown this in there. I was like, that was crazy. That's the actually second time I've had issues at this Google bins with my cart. The other time was a couple weekends ago. I swear somebody stole a couple pairs of shoes out of there because I remember I had a pair of Olokai flip-flops in them and then I went to, ch I checked out and everything and I got home and they were not in there at all whatsoever. But Moving on to the rest of the haul, this was one thing I got in the toy section. It, she even has little Build-A-Bear roses on her wrist. Super cute. Usually with these, the like stickers on their feet are torn, so this, I'm surprised. Usually with bears like these, the stickers on their feet are torn, so she's actually in amazing condition. She just has a little bit of dirt on her white nose, but we'll get that cleaned up. And then the other thing I found in the toy section is this battery. It is JVC. I think it's for a camera, so I'll have to look it up. It was uh, between this and the bear, it cost 75 cents, so definitely making some good profit there. Yeah, I'll put a picture, a comp on the screen of what this battery uh, goes to and what it's going for. So moving on, this is a really cute little Ray Dunn. Let me see if I can tag. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. Ray Dunn lunchbox. It has some stains on the bottom and the, the inside isn't super clean. I, and you can see the stains on the top right there. I might not sell it, I might just keep it for myself because I always can use a good, good lunch pail. So I also found this. It's like an otter box, a like holster thing for your, you can strap your phone to it. So I figure why not, it's super light. And then I found this little leather coin purse. The brand is Kin on the top there. I have no idea. I researched it. I cannot find um, what this goes for, but like it feels like decent leather. It, it looks nice and everything, but there's no tag or anything on the inside. So if you have seen this brand Kin uh, of like purses and whatnot, leave a comment below. Uh, yeah, because I've never seen that before and I had a hard time finding it online. And then last purse type thing I got was this uh, fossil bag. There you go, you can see. It's actually in amazing condition. It needs, there's a few scratches and whatnot and I'll try to uh, clean it up a little bit. I don't do great reselling fossil. It just sits for me and I don't get a lot for it. However, I send fossil into ThreadUp and I just had one sell for like $80 and it gave me a payout of like 50. So all, anytime I find fossil, especially the Goodwill bins, I don't even bother. I clean it up a little bit and I just send it right into thread up. Okay, moving on. So this cute little Carter's fleece vest. I only, the only reason I picked this up is because it was new with tags. 
Uh, not quite sure if I'm gonna sell it myself or just bring it to a buy sell trade, you know, like once upon a child. So I found these socks. They are Under Armour's, they're brand new. Uh, again, I might just keep these or give them to my brother, but they're really nice, brand new Under Armour socks. Oh, and here comes the puppy, the new goods inspector. There she is. Checking everything out, Kiki? Did I get some good stuff? Kalia, say hi to the people. I'm sure there's lots of good smells in there. Uh, I haven't washed it. I literally just pulled the stuff out of the car, so I haven't washed anything yet. But I do wash everything once I get it back from the from the bins. So this is a Gap Kids. It's a little uniform skirt, and it's back to school season uh, as it's July 10th, I think, when I'm filming this. So this is perfect for her back to school. This is a Costa, just regular, you know, normal t-shirt, but Costa is a pretty hot brand right now and it's got the like woodland, a uh, real tree camo on the back. So this shirt is Prana, size medium, made in the US. It's a very lightweight shirt, so it didn't weigh a whole lot. I might just send this into thread up as well. I'm not sure, I'll have to look up comps on it. So these I'm definitely sending in a thread up. I don't do great with like Nike leggings, New Balance leggings, stuff like that. But they actually sell for decent over on thread up and pretty fast. So I know, you know, they don't cost very much, maybe 50 cents. And I know I can get about $4 on thread up. So I'll just send them over there. They're pretty much almost honestly new condition, no pilling or anything. And they're a size medium. So this dress is super cute. I might keep it for myself if it fits. It might not fit. It might be a little too big. It's a size six from Madewell. And just look at all the cute fruits on here. And it's got these little side cutouts. I just thought it was absolutely adorable. Um, I'm definitely gonna need to wash it as I saw a few like light stains on there, but I think they'll come out in the wash. And it's kind of a cream colored dress anyway, so you it's really hard to tell um, the marks on there. So these are Nike Pro um, dry fit men's, I think they're men's uh, leggings. They're a size large. Uh, these are good for the upcoming sports season because I know like football players tend to wear these uh, and track and stuff like that. So this is a J. Jill little white cardigan. Super cute little buttons. And then this is size medium. And it was made of some nice materials. Usually, I, I do okay with J. Jill, it's hit or miss, but this is a linen, cotton, and modal. So I, you know, it's nice materials. I think it'll sell. It's pretty lightweight as well. And then this is a Banana Republic uh, Lux spun long sleeve shirt. This was also from their fall 2020 collection, so relatively new. And I think, let me look at the tag. Uh, oh, it's polyester and spandex and rayon. So it is made of a little bit better materials. So next is this J. Crew. Top, it looks brand new, size four. Super cute, fun gold chevron print. So this I actually bought for myself because I have a bachelorette party coming up next month, and one of the it's in Nashville, and one of the themes for the like one of the nights when we're going out is fringe. So it's just a cute little. Let me zip it up. It's a BB Dakota skirt. But like look at all the fun fringe on there it's like suede fringe i think this will be perfect for the bachelorette party in nashville so this sweater i was like this is interesting looking and the tag just looked kind of nicer you know uh, than like a screen print or anything like that and i never heard of this brand before and so i looked at the uh like what it was made of so it's cotton viscose nylon and cashmere and it said dry clean only so I looked it up and this looks like a super like a more high-end designer so I'll pop a comp up on the screen but it's very interesting looking 
sweater with this sleeve that's a different color and then it's kind of high low and it's got big slits on the side so i think this might be the best find of the day oh one of the pairs of shoes that's coming up that one might also be really well but this designer sweater i think will will do really well so this is absolutely adorable hopefully it sells before the summer is over but it is a little mini Bowden four to five year old girl swimsuit. Just absolutely adorable. A little butterfly on there. So we got this pair of Ed Hardy shoes. This was in one of the pair. Um, this was in one. This was in one of the bins that rolled out towards the end. And I know Ed Hardy has been. It's pretty popular right now too. So. Have to check this one at Hardy. This one shoe has it's like super yellow around the toe compared to the other one. So I'm gonna try to get that yellowing off, kind of like how I will for the Jordans. But they have like this like Sherpa esque liner to them. So I'll pop a comp up on the screen for these. They're a US size eight. So yeah, upper nylon lining, fake Sherpa and outer sole rubber. On these, a little bit of rubbing. Because they're in there. A little bit of rubbing on the graphic towards the bottom, but all in all, these look like in really good condition. I actually was grabbing for these, and another lady was grabbing for them, but I guess I grabbed faster. Uh, so, next is a pair of Croc. Uh, just a little pair of sandals, Crocs. Anytime I get Crocs, especially from the Go Well Bins, because like these are so light, maybe two, three ounces each. They always sell between $15 and $25, and they sell super fast. These are a women's size 10. Hey guys, future Rachel here. So my camera died right as I was talking about those Crocs. So it's been a few hours. I've been upstairs cleaning all those shoes, hence why my hair is a mess. But I'm going to go through the last bag of stuff that I got at the Goodwill Outlet today. So next we have a pair of, these are Vionic uh, sandals. Bionic is a, a great bread and butter bolo brand. They're known for their comfort shoes. So these are black sequiny and they have Velcro straps. These are a women's size seven. Next we have this pair of Vince Commuto little heels. They're like a, you can, they have the ankle strap. They're like a light blue, uh, like animal print type of shoe. They're in excellent condition. Uh, so definitely make sure to grab these up. Let's see if it says a size on here. Oh yeah, here we go. Seven and a half. There you go. You can tell by the bottoms how they're very, they haven't been worn like at all. Here's the other one. Um, next we have another pair of Bionic shoes that I grabbed. These ones are a little bit of a wedge. They have a little fong uh, sandal here. These are a size eight. And these ones have a buckle, not Velcro. A little bit of a peeling on the strap there from like the, and around the edges from the metallic. Uh, but they're still in excellent condition. I mean, you can see from the bottom, so they haven't been worn very much. Just that metallic coating that's coming off of the uh, strap. Next, we have a cute little pair of suede uh, toms. Let's see, these are a women's size seven. And you can see they haven't really been worn at all from the bottoms of them. That's just from them rubber banding the shoes together. So hopefully that'll come off. But yeah, just brown suede, little toms flats. And then last, one of the better, uh, one of the best, I'd have to say, shoe finds is this pair of Birkenstocks, the rubber bandle. Uh, so here they are, size 37. They're the little cross toe and like the, there you go, had something in the bottom of the shoe. Uh, I'll have to pick that out. But the bottoms look really good too, minus that one little spot from where there's a rock. And they don't look to be coming apart a little bit right there, but not super bad. So one thing I found with Birkenstocks is they can sometimes like dry rot almost. 
But yeah, that is everything that I got in my haul today. If you guys stayed this long, you must have liked the video. So please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will catch you on the next one.